<clears throat> Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. I want to thank Sister Rosa here for uh, sending me several different news uh, reports here this evening and very disturbing information. Uh, and also want to make sure that I uh, keep you guys informed. Uh, these videos that I've been doing, I already started putting them on Patreon. Uh, but the next one I'll be doing will be going on iConnectFX.com. Uh, and it is, again, filling in the blanks that uh, Mike from around the world has been, that I don't want to say he leaves it out. I, I do appreciate uh, the links at what he goes in uh, disseminating information to try to help you to better understand what's going on in the world. Uh, but uh, I'm about to do one, and I need to get some clarification from DC on some of the issues that uh, we spoke about this past week when I was over in DC so we will um, so I can better bring out the information uh, on what Mike's talking about and actually uh, I'll be speaking to uh, uh, one of the German scientists as well that first told me about this information we're scheduled to speak tomorrow as well so I'm hoping by tomorrow night between the different meetings with DC and with Germany that I'll be able to get that information to you so now <clears throat> without any further ado uh, and, and there are still several more that I'm going to be loading on on uh, Patreon as well. Those issues though, I do not consider as critical, but they're very eye-opening. And uh, I think our last message that we did um, uh, was very, again, it was confirmation of information I've shared with you almost two years ago. Uh, there's a lot of things that Mike is disclosing now that we disclosed a year, six months ago, a, two years ago, uh, things like that. So I, I know that Mike is uh, privy to the same things that I'm privy to as well. Uh, it's just a matter of who is allowed to disclose what, when, where, why, and how. <clears throat> All that kind of good stuff there. Uh, and he does get things that I do not get. Um, in fact, I was looking at the video that uh, 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 Brother Paul Begley did on his program there. I know it's on a paid platform there. Uh, I'll just quickly jump over to it. I'm not going to play it, though. Uh, but this one here is with Mike. He shows the map there on the program there. Um, and uh, I think it would definitely be something that you would want to be able to see, hear about what he's talking about in this information there. I think is very pertinent, it's very critical, and in fact, uh, because of that, some of the things that, uh, that are going to be uh, here, uh, we're going to be talking about now has everything to do with, uh, with the... Uh, information that Mike is speaking about there and uh, and I do apologize I did black out part of the map there and the only reason I did uh, I did not ask uh, uh, Brother Begley if I could actually show that or not as of yet there so I don't want to step on anybody's toes of what may or may not be uh, acceptable as of right now uh, but let me get let me let's get right into this right now two air bases were hit deep inside of Russia how Turner is reporting uh, says Ukraine hit back hard and, uh, and, and, and it is. It's a very, very serious situation that's happening there in Russia. Here is some video footage, though, that Hal posted there uh, of the guy. He's walking along. It's just, I guess, it's uh, some type. You can, hear, you can hear the missiles going overhead there. It'll be just a few seconds longer there. In the background, you will see the bombs going off, or the bomb go off there, the missile that, was stru that struck the air base in Russia there. Uh, I can only imagine, talk about infuriate Putin uh, to be having these types of strikes inside of his country and then not taking them out. Uh, maybe it was Russia just did not anticipate that Ukraine has NATO forces in their country firing these missiles. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's this is only going to escalate. And I was told that December is going to be a pivotal month. Uh, when it comes to the Ukraine, uh, Russian, NATO crisis. And we are definitely starting to see that it certainly is a crisis. Now, let's get into this whole thing there. Uh, Mike, in one of his videos recently, he's talking about uh, the earth, the, the, the unstable areas of from Japan all the way down to uh, New Zealand. Uh, this whole region there, they just had a 6.9 earthquake, trigger tsunami warnings on, uh, on Samoa Island. And I can, there again, these are one of the things that I told you guys probably a year ago. Ago, I told you about how that we were going to be faced with uh, a major, they were expecting a year from now, a major catastrophic earthquake 
that would go from uh, New Zealand all the way up to Japan. And I said to you guys then, Japan had been put on warning uh, that they could very well, uh, part of the country could literally collapse into the ocean. They've officially been warned. Uh, now Mike doesn't say that, but I actually said that to you guys originally. And so uh, here we are now. The activity is really starting to increase. Italy, strong eruption of Stromboli eruption triggers a 1.5 meter high tsunami. That's not very tall. It's only about four foot tall. But nonetheless, it did trigger a tsunami. And uh, we'll play just some of the footage here there, uh, that what they're showing you there. As this volcano erupted today, I say today, that may have been Sunday that that erupted. I forget exactly which day it erupted there. But as you can see, there she goes. She blows. And uh, we are going to see far more activity like this, more volcanoes going off. Uh, we've been reporting this now for well over a year. These things were coming. Uh, uh, we talked about to the, the asteroids, things like that. And uh, here we have here uh, the uh, strong shock wave and huge roar reported in Grand Canary was a uh, meteorite impacting ocean water. And it wasn't just any little small meteorite either. Uh, in fact, uh, Dabu777, or maybe it's only 27, I forget now, he had reported it on his channel there. Uh, they actually put up his video right here. Dabu had actually brought this out too. It says, uh, even the window panes and blinds trembled, say those who phoned 100, uh, 112 to report it. Their testimonies regarding the sound spread uh, too far to be example of an airplane breaking the sound barrier. Uh, they also talked about the sonic boom was from a fireball that had crossed the sky over the Canary Islands that has touched the atmosphere on the island, uh, generating a powerful acoustic wave. Now, that was the Can uh, Canarian government gave the official statement on that, okay? And then they give you the size of this. It was a meteorite whose size is estimated with a natural uh, percussions given the pressure of time to be approximately a meter in length. So... Three foot size asteroid. That's a pretty doggone big asteroid coming in, weighing several tons. Uh, I have a hard time believing that only three foot could weigh several tons. I mean, that's just me personally. But this is only one of many that have already come in. Uh, I was I already heard about three more that had hit the oceans there uh, that were not as big as a car, but dead gum sure big uh, from the things that I've been told so far here. And these things are going to increase, um, you know. And, you know, we, of course, we were reporting this much earlier. We had anticipated these things. These events were going to come earlier. I do know that there are those that are reporting that here in January, they're anticipating a major impact. Uh, all I can tell you is, remember, I'm not going to, to predict time frames and things any longer because I realize that you can really get people excited, you get them nervous over those things. And as as well, like I told you guys to start with, um, when it comes to these meteorites, it is always too, it is a, um, uh, you know, you have the probabilities because we have technology where we're able to move these uh, these meteorites. Uh, I'd like to share with you real quick, let me, let me see here, let me run over to here, let me get off that channel there. I'm going to run over here to uh, Stephen Benoon, my, my channel there. And, and the reason why I say the technology, those of you that have not seen it, here we go right here, the real mission of the X-37B. Remember, uh, in fact, I think it was Paul Begley was one of the first ones to bring out about this uh, craft right here. But nobody knew what it was for. I don't even think Mike was saying what it was for. But we came out and we disclosed what this particular aircraft was doing up in space for that 900 days. They were building a, uh, a laser grid to try to detect uh, smaller meteorites that are smaller than a vehicle so that they can destroy as many as they possibly can because they are anticipating a storm of these things coming in, uh, smaller ones especially. So it's just, you know, the U.S. government has a lot of technology, but you got to remember, can't take out everything that's flying by. Uh, but they are, uh, it is more to do with the binary system is what people normally call it. Uh, I'll leave it at that. I'm not going to say exactly what that is, but it is uh, certainly, it is a big issue we're dealing with. Anyway, I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you for listening, and thank you for your support of this broadcast.